Hello guys, welcome to a little hiking vlog today. Um, so I'm going to be heading up firstly Kirkfell and then straight over onto Great Gable, drop back down into the valley. Nice little leisurely walk but as you can see for October, lovely, lovely sunny day. Um, hoping to get a clear view at the top, it looks pretty clear up there now but as I say we'll see when we get up there. So the path that we've chosen to take today is right up the side of um, Kirkfell. So it's around 700 meters of elevation in one kilometer of distance. So let's turn the camera around and you can see there, that's what we'll be heading up. So we'll be heading straight up the side, um, straight over the top and then over onto Great Gable. No, it's going to be a lung buster. No, it's probably going to burn the legs, but get the majority of the elevation out the way in one kilometer, and then we're up at the top to enjoy the views. So let's get going. So this literally feels like we're on. Stairmaster in the gym, just constant stepping up, stepping up. We're not even at the steepest, steepest gradient yet. But it's going to take a little by little, piece by piece, probably a couple of hundred meters of elevation at a time. Just keep working out, take rests when we need to. Not going to try and push it and tire ourselves out because then you're fatigued. Take a little by little rest, little by little rest, and just like that, we'll get to the top. But we know when we're up there, gonna be lovely views of the entire valley. And with it being such a clear day, great views of all of the Scarfell Massif as well. So I'm making progress, slow progress, but slow progress is better than no progress so just got to keep moving Emma are we finding it? <laughs> got a positive mindset as she said to me before just got to keep thinking that you're nearly at the top you're nearly at the top and you'll just keep moving but every now and then we'll stop and just turn around and just appreciate that view let all the lactic acid drain out of our calves and then carry on carry on walking up up this as you can see Emma give us a wave she's probably only 10 meters in front of me if that and easily 20 30 foot higher than me Let's keep pushing on. Are you finding it? <laughs> yeah, this isn't the, the advised route to come up uh, Kirkfell, but it is the quickest, so gotta dig deep and get it done but every time we're stopping now got those little midgy flies coming trying to have a little bite at us so it's a bit more motivation to keep moving So we've got to the first little um, section, the first little plateau. It's about halfway up Kirkfell. Um, currently sitting at um, just over 1,100 feet. Um, so probably just over halfway. Got the, the hard part out the way, in my opinion. Now it's just taking a little break, getting the heart rate back down. 
and then heading up onto a little bit more grass and then there's some scree at the top so we're going to just take that piece by piece we'll, we'll smash out the last little bit of the grass and then we'll find the safest pass, um, path of the scree which as you can see is all the way up there so it's still got a bit to do before that and then probably get a little bit of food at the top as well I probably do without having to be too hands here but I'll be alright so last little push now to the top probably no longer than 10 minutes away um, and yeah we just did stop before we had to get some fuel in us so I had a little sausage roll and we had the Snickers bar which she hadn't eaten all day so she was getting a little bit cranky weren't you? <laughs> she's getting a little bit cranky so now she's got the energy in her it's like a mountain goat up there. All, all the way up there yeah yeah so then I just carry on just keep moving and then have a full body when we get to the top right I'm gonna need my second hand back now so see you up there Right, so we've just got to, to the top of um, Kirkfell. Um, it was difficult on that last little push. Got uh, quite a lot of loose rock, so it's quite hard to keep the pace up. Um, yeah, Emma got it done now. We are um, just going to sit down and have something to eat now. Um, we chose, because up here on Kirkfell, I feel like it's it's often overlooked with Great Gable being just there, but the views you get up here are just as, as spectacular, especially on a clear day like today. I mean, you can see, um, let me just turn this around. So you've got the Isle of Man straight out to the sea. Got over there, rest of the Scarfell Massive. Up here, got you can just see over, um, in the distance the Scottish Highlands and then over there we've got Great Gable which is where we'll be heading next after we've had a little something to eat and then there we've got Emma waiting for some food so I'm gonna tuck her down have something to eat and then we'll crack on right so we're just heading down this little uh, rocky bit of Kirk Fell heading over to Great Gable which is just there so this is the most fun part because you just put your weight into your heels and just glide down if you slip you just slip into your bum so i'm gonna having a lot of fun emma's still finding her feet but how are you finding it better than going up better than going up there we go so enjoyable little route down um Definitely feeling good after the refuel at, at the top. Just had some uh, some ham ham sandwiches and pork pie. Melton Mowbray pork pie. So got the calories back in, got the energy. Spirits back up high. After Emma was a little bit nervous on the way up. But after we head down here, pretty much just on steady path right away up Great Gable. So See it on the way. So just stop for a little water break, um, about halfway, probably three quarters of the way up Great Gable. Um, I think we're sitting at about 2400 foot. I think the top of up there is just under 3000. So I'm going to just crack on and get the last little bit done and then slope down over into Stighead, down into the valley 
and then back over to the National Trust car park. Um, so, see you at the top, last little bit. Got the mountain rescue helicopter just hovering over there in the distance. I think it's gonna come quite close to us. Possibly. Just open that, whoever they've picked up, or if they're going to get someone isn't seriously injured. Because it is a lovely day for walking in the fells, so... Busy. Yeah, so let's just hope they're alright. Heads off there, over into the distance. We've made it to the top. A little bit of wind coming in now with some incredible views as you can see behind me. Um, we were going to head down and around Stye Head, but just because of the time um, and time, I'm just looking to get back to the car now, uh, head back, just because it is a two and a half hour drive home. So just coming off the summit of Great Gable, heading back down now to Black Head. And then we're going to follow past, I think it's White Neeps and then drop back down into uh, Wasdale and back to the, the car park at the National Trust where we park. So, starting to feel the temperature drop a little bit now. Um, we've got a little sandwich at the top that we just had, so got a little last burst of energy with this down park. Hopefully sun comes back out from behind the clouds just to warm us up a little bit but all in all it's been a great day two great summits and that's what we watched just telling me that we've done five miles been walking now for just under five hours so great day all in all check in with you again when we're down at the head let's go so we're back down off a uh, great gable now in Beckhead with Beckhead Tarn just over there behind us. Um, just going to cut off now to the side to try and find this path across um, down back into the valley. So just going a little bit cross country at the minute. Just say that there is a path here. So just going to look out for, for signs of a path. Um, it does say we're following it dead on. But I think just with the rain over the past few days, a lot of the area is flooded. So just being careful because we've gone all day with uh, with dry boots. So don't want to get them wet now. Also, me and Emma both took a little tumble on the way down from Great Gable. Um, my one was literally like something out of it, a uh, Charlie Chaplin sketch. Just completely slow motion, thought to save myself. But then it does have just fallen back onto my ass, so it does happen to the best of us. With the sun dimming now as well, some beautiful views out here. Especially because a lot of people expect the views at the summits, at the higher levels. Whereas now here, let's turn you around so you can see. It's just as nice as the sun is setting, probably in about just over an hour and we are at lower elevation still lovely views
we're just on the valley floor now, um, heading back to the car, which is parked up in Wasdale. Um, yeah, that, that last little bit was tough coming down, to be honest. There was like parts where it was just loose rocks. You just couldn't walk five feet without slipping. So I'm not sure if that's become looser because of the weather over the past few days here. But it was really tough and just took it out of us on, on our knees and on our feet. So happy to be back down on the flat ground now and just a straight steady walk back to the car. So been a good day all in all. Knocked out um, two Wayne Knights. So Kirk fell and um, Great Gable as well. So some beautiful views from both. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Um, comment down below if there's anywhere else you'd like to see me visit around the lakes uh, and any walks that you'd recommend for me to go on. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. So I know I said I was going to wrap it up, but just on our way back to the car, the sun's set and the redness of the sun is just shining bright over the fells. Such beautiful, beautiful, vivid colours. Don't think the, uh, the GoPro will do it much justice, but just thought I'd share that with you. Right, I'm out. Peace.